Trick number one for a better run, your shoes. Get fitted, get a run analysis. See how you run and get the shoe that fits your style, okay? So a shoe that works for Mary is not gonna always work for you. And once you get that done, once you get the right shoe, it improves your running mechanics, which is gonna help you run more efficiently and possibly without pain if you were having discomfort and pain from the wrong shoe before, which is gonna reduce injuries, reduce wear and tear on the body. So all of these things over time can lead to a better run time, okay? If you're running better with better form, you're running more efficiently, you're running more often now because it's more enjoyable, it's less painful, right? So, and less wear and tear on the body, so you're gonna have less reduce the injuries for long term, okay? So get fitted, go to a local store, Fleet Feet, get fitted for the shoe that is right for you. Trick number two to better your runs, cross training. You don't only have to run to get better at running. So I re recommend one day per week, swap out your run for another aerobic event. And this can be a Zumba class, a spin class, a rushing kettlebell session, um, swimming, rowing, cycling, anything. And that will still help improve your runs. All right, so your last tip for this series, for a better run, check your running stride. So what's very common is that we overstride and we try to go faster by lengthening our stride and we end up doing a heel strike. So we wanna do the opposite and look for more of a mid strike, bear with my art skills, um, and a strike or a stride that's more underneath our body. So a lot of times physical therapy will have running form sessions, so reach out and see if they can help you with the form. But once you get this fixed, uh, you'll see a huge improvement in your run time.